It has been a few weeks. I got around to record. And boy, has a lot of stuff happened. I hope you're all staying safe. Washing them hands. And not touching your faces. Alright. We're back with the Monarch's Journey of Queen Shaja Aldur in the second generation because the queen herself has been dead for a bit. Which is uh, quite the shame. And we are now one of our kinsmen trying to get through and live up to the example set by the good queen. I do not want to give away things. Can you please stop? Oops, I gave away something for a favor. See, after a while, you get to the point where you feel like you know all. And you just click buttons because you think you can't do wrong. But there you go. That was the wrong button. Okay, you need a lot of money to make a golden Quran. Here, have it. Sounds like a good idea. Right. We're nearing the end of our life here. We have a wolf familiar. We could switch over to hunting to get a hunting dog to prolong our life. But, you know, I think for once we're going to go through theology at the end of our life. Going towards God. Asking Allah for guidance and maybe even forgiveness where such might be required. We are not a threat to the world around us, having just taken a good bit out of Egypt. And this will be the goal for this generation of rulers. We will want to restore our empire that was lost to the Crusaders. Uh, my courtier Mustafa. Are you good at anything? Oh, you're not too bad, actually. But it's fine. Go join the Holy Order. And we shall dedicate more time, even more time, to the scriptures. Okay, yeah, you want more troops. In the meantime, I've learned something new, which I thought I might just share. We have this lovely... The Holy Order. But we have this um, Mamluk band here somewhere. Which is always nice and cheap. There they are, the Mamluks. The Mamluks are actually a cast of slave warrior. That would also explain why they are so god darn sheep. Ah, look at that. Our heir is very good in stewardship. Fine. And he needs a wife now. So we will look for good attributes. And there are some strong women out there that we should definitely try and get. I hope we would also get a nice little non-aggression pact with one of the horse sword <laughs> see if they accept and the sacred texts have illuminated me giving me more learning ever more these are people who are in defensive pacts against us. Aztecs spread disease. There are no evil sign. Uh, symptoms are similar to those of the dreaded great pox. But the cursed plague seems even more virulent. Men skilled in art of medicine have adopted the syphilis and all attempts to treat it thus far have met with failure. Now even those beyond the reach of the Aztec armies are imperiled. As this disease carried by refugees and merchants sweeps across Europe and the Middle East like an unstoppable tidal wave. Is there actually 
a pandemic of syphilis. There's a revolt going on. Let's see, where are they? Where? Whoop. And there we die. We have a new heir. Uh, so be it, did we lose anything? Does not look like we did. Right, okay, let's have a quick look here. And we should get, while we wait for our betrothed there, get some secondary wives going. Oh, she's perfect. Young and strong. Let's get her. And let's get some more secondary wives. A quick one, maybe? Hey, let's look for genius. Why go low when you can go high? Because there is no genius. 17-year-old genius woman. Perfect. No, we're quick. Sorry. And um, we got strong. We got quick. Let's find someone who's attractive, too. And there we go, got a good option here actually. She's not good enough at what she does to get the bonus for fertility. Let's get here though. There we go. Time to join a society as well. And why not go with the assassins? Why not go with for the assassins? Right, uh, we need to set our crown focus, which will be here, at home, indeed. Got a bit of money, which we should definitely spend. Let's see where... We'll build everything up once, and then we go back down from top to bottom. Ooh, we also have this. I forgot we built this. Well then, let's get going on some money earning there. Our council is kind of devoid of councillors. Given that we've just switched. So we got this decadent genius guy here. Who doesn't really have much of an opinion of us. Look into our strong vassals. Halfway good. Not really good at anything much, so we'll take him for this. Now the marshal. Uh, he would be good. Spy master and also can very much. Go and try get rid of him. Let's send them to the heartland of syphilis. <laughs> Putting him in double peril. Maybe that will work. And we will raise our liege levies here. To the two of them. Task with taking out our enemy there. Right, we need a marshal. People don't like me, why is that? I am not a good diplomat, it looks like. Oh, he would... All these would make better commanders... ...than... ...marshals. So we'll take... ...this man... ...set him to train troops at home... ...steward... Doesn't really matter, so we'll take this man. The we need a food taster, and our food taster is usually someone who probably wants us some sort of ill. Our spy master, why not? Right then. Ah, yeah. Wanted to check our commanders real quick. Should use the good guys with all the good stuffs here. Eleven. Oh, he's a uh, he's okay. This guy can be replaced by this guy. Those are some decent commanders. Oh, we need an ambition. And definitely we go for Gruem and Air. Not like we have a choice, really. I wonder, why do we have this one? Can't change it. How long can't we change it? For another four years. So we'll see how, where Theology gets us. Let's check our intrigue option. What can we do? We can write a book. 
very expensive, but are we good at anything? Oh, yeah, stewardship. That's good. We'll want to write a book on that. On managing a realm. There's a book I have in mind that might become the result of this. Be lovely. Can we assign individual commanders here? No. I think that's only for retinue troops. Everyone agrees to marry their daughters to us. Oh. We switched our... Oh, well, that's fine. Yes, let's have some sympathy for Christianity. Matter. We switched around a little bit here. Our primary wife, our list, lovely lady. Uh, most guests have departed, and evening has turned into an early morning. Yet, I and the mayor, Ismail, are still deep in conversation. We're discussing a hadith Ismail just read. He suggests that its narrator, Abu Hurairah, might be unreliable and asks if the hadith recorded by Ali are not preferable. Oh, I think I think he might just be right. Ali is probably a better source. Being that he's the most primary secondary source we can have. Ah, and since we got so long, uh no. Since we got on so well, there we go. We should talk some more, and I believe this is our introduction into the assassin. Is there a way? Oh, that's not great. Uh, peasant revolt spawned right underneath our troops there. Let's <laughs> rally as much as we can in the vicinity to reinforce our retinue troops sitting there. This is very suboptimal. Very, very suboptimal. We have one commander who is uh, much more capable than what we are facing there. So we'll see how this turns out. Me an assassin? Perhaps this is my destiny. Oh. This to happen. We have the defensive bonus, so um, I am fairly optimistic. There we go, it looks good. Uh, yeah, we're not going to become Shia. We will stay Sunni and we'll do it in secret. could found a religious cult. We'll find the Pledge of Allegiance. And you want us to go into the Jour War against someone? Sure. Oh, well. Definitely join that one. Start standing down some port troops that we had begun sending upward here. We're fighting Egypt. Well, then we will combine our troops down here and actually contribute a little bit to that war there. Would like this be done. Thank you. Who can we imprison? Let's get some non-aggression packs going. With people we can imprison. <laughs> Generally, let's have a real quick look at our vassals. Doesn't want a non-aggression pact. That would be expensive. Uh, 
takes the Russian Pact. We'll just check everyone we can get a non-aggression pact with. We'll take. Those are pretty neat. Don't want that on that level. Don't drop it here. So that other revolt looks beaten as well. And now we travel further south. We're not actually fighting Egypt, we're fighting just one of the vassals of Egypt, I believe. It should still be fine. We'll read the Miaphysite Bible. We'll travel to Holuf for introduction into... The Assassin's Guild. Um, half sister can marry? Sure, let's do it. We will not become Miaphysite. We will actually stick with the true religion. The journey to Olive was comfortable. However, the dwindling mountain path to the assassin Stronghold was, t was a torment to tread. As I finally arrive, the castle my guide brings me to the main tower, where I am introduced to propagandist Ismail. There is no time for pleasantries, not even a moment to catch my breath before propagandist Ismail leads me through another door, down spiraling stone staircases. We descend in silence, the stair ends and the propagandist opens another door, revealing a gloomy basement and a figure kneeling on the floor. Who's that? There we go. Now we have a non-aggression pack with our Grand Vizier. This propagandist Ismail says solemnly as I enter is your test. With these words, he pulls off the hood of the woman's head. It is Sultana Meles, my wife. The shock in her eyes must be mirroring my own. This woman is an enemy of our faith. End her. She's not the one pregnant. Nah, she's a strong one. Darn it. Fine. There she dies. My life for Allah. Praise be the assassins. As my wife bleeds out on the floor. Right, and we become close friends with our courtier here. Good. Uh, I think that that's nice. We, we just basically joined the assassins we have uh, switched rulership over uh, we are traveling south toward our dear ally against whom against this guy okay i'm a little bit confused what are you fighting oh no the kingdom of egypt has actually joined so we will go and attack Cairo with our armies and we'll look at that next time. The next best thing to Cairo. This. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Get around.